to run this engine in a few minutes. This engine was the first engine on site. It's affectionately known to us as the Morsley engine. 1838, it was built by Morsley Sons and Field of Lambert, a London building. Um, in those early days, of course, it was a low pressure engine. And it went on quite successfully. Pumping here, um, but it was the, uh, as I say, put here in 1838. Well, now the engine next door, the 1820 volt and watt, was down at Chelsea, and they made provision because of the water was so polluted at Chelsea to come up here to queue where the river was relatively clean for 11 months of the year. Originally, they wanted to establish a pumping station the other side, over by Kew Gardens, but the botanical gardens were not having any of that. <laughs> so the other option was to come over onto the north bank of the Thames, here at Kew Bridge, and establish this station. Hello. They had made provision for the two engines at Chelsea after they got more pumping was established here in 1838. The two engines from Chelsea were transferred from Chelsea here and put in the building in the house next door. This engine and its sister engines here worked quite extensively throughout their working lives. Um, this engine had the unfortunate mishap of being fractured, resulting in if you look upstairs, you'll see that one half the chief of the beam is thinner than the other. The thinner piece is the original Morsley beam, and the thinner piece is by Simpson. When that fracture occurred, the piston became, the rod became detached from the beam, the steam engine took steam, and the thing went down like steam down, and the steam out of the bed, and smashed the cylinder all the pieces. So a new cylinder was made by Harvey's of Hale. So a lot of the work on there is now Harvey's, but there is some work of more so. It's a 65 inch diameter cylinder, and the stroke is a nominal inch foot. That end is a pump. It used to be well in excess of 20 tonnes. In 1938, they extended its pumping capacity to a higher head pump to heat it. And to do that, they had to put another tonne of weight on the top. There's no more room inside the bin, inside of the uh, chamber. So they had to put a tire around the outside and they put net weights on the outside of the cover. Hello. Um, pushing the engine to its real limits. Yes, so there we go. When we put the engine back into uh, yes, run, um, we took all that weight off and some more weight out as well. So we're working now to approximately, we're lifting about 12 tonnes. You have to have a considerable amount of weight because we're pumping now to approximately 100 foot head instead of 184 foot head in the old days of the standby tower. She pumps 130 gallons on every stroke. Uh, continuing to do that over her normal stroking through 24 hours, she would pump to two and a half million gallons.